is The Real Talk with the door and Daisy. Welcome back to another episode. This is The Real Talk with the door and Daisy. Today we are doing something different. My partner is not on board today, but I'm going to hold it down for her. I will say I'm a little nervous, but I'm not. <laughs> so we got Miss Janae. Go ahead and tell the people who you are and what you got going on. Oh, I'm Janae. I'm a um, business owner, of course, out of Detroit. Um, I had Gift Me for a while now. Um, got some things coming up, but you know, overall, I'm owner of Gift Me Chocolate. And my newest venture is Buy Me Out, <laughs> oh. Build on Business. Other than that, it's a few things coming up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you really lit to be young Thank and lit. You. So let's talk about your whole journey. Um, let's talk about how you started Give Me. Um, let's talk about why you started it. And let's just go from there. Start and Give Me. It's a few different ways I started Give Me. Um, I love chocolate. I love strawberries. Everybody know that if you know me. Um, I'm a hustler. I knew that, you know, once I start making them, people were seeing them, how they look, how they taste. Everybody wanted them. I knew it just... It sounded like money, smelled like money. I I just (laughs) needed parts. Um, When it was time to open a store, nothing in me told me don't do it. Everything was just, you know, lined up for me to do it, and I did it. So been there for seven years, and lucky seven, June 6th. So got something crazy coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So let me tell y'all that when she first started Gift Me, this was before the storefront. She was selling strawberries, like, out her car. She was selling them, like, she would, like, find, like, a spot where she can have, like, a meeting spot. She would take, like, pre-orders, and you would come when she tell you a date and a time. Like, so I've been rocking with my girl the seven-plus years. You have. And so, that's why I had to bring you a box. <laughs> <laughs> you and Chardé, you know yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, this is, like, the best chocolate-covered strawberries ever, but, Thank you. you know. I'm not saying that because I love you, but no, they really are. Um, I always get my birthday cakes from from the store. Um, just always gonna support because you always supported me. So, um, do you have a reason behind it? Like, like what, I know you creative, like you got that creative mind, but like, just what made you do it? What made me do what? Open a store? Or- no, just like sell strawberries and cupcakes. And well, you know, Gift Me is more like a party favorite company. So we cater a lot of parties, a lot of events. It's it's way beyond like chocolate strawberries and like cupcakes and stuff because I don't bake. You know, I just decorate. So decorating to me is like eye candy. You know, like I love decor. I love putting shit together. And it's like it just come natural. Um, a way for me that I seen young was that. People don't really decorate through food. Everybody decorate, you know, selling clothes, doing hair, doing it. I just want it. I just always been different. I always found if everybody going one way, I'm going this way, you know. So it was like decorating through food, through how I see things, how I, you know, how we see something and we want it right away. When we see some food, like, damn, I look good. That's how I am. I'm greedy, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> I eat a lot in there. Sweets is like something that. I love sweets. It's just, it is what it is. But as far as the party favors, it's more so what Gift Me Chocolate is. So we, you know, strawberries, um, pretzels, um, candy, coated popcorn, all that stuff for events. But the chocolate, strawberries, cupcakes, and all that is, of course, for like walk in or like pull up and go sweet too, just to keep the store open, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you and Daisy also used to do back in the day um, Easter parties. We did. You know? yep. We did. We did, and I, I want to, now that I got my own baby, I got to touch back, you know, I got to tap back into that. Congratulations to new mommy hood. Thank you, thank you. Do you feel like um, your grind is different now that you're a mom? I mean, you always had that grind, but, like, did you get, like, an extra push, or do you feel like it's different being a mom, running the business, or two businesses, or three businesses, because you got a lot going on? Girl, my baby was just God sent. Um I definitely feel like it's harder. You know, you you have less time, and you know you need time to kind of maneuver and do different things. Um, my baby gave me a lot of push. Instead of I know everybody had asked me like, "Hey, you gonna start her business?" You, I am, but I really want to give her a rich mama, a, a real rich mama. You know, I want to pass it all down to her so she ain't gotta work as hard or think it's hard or you know just tackle this everyday life. She, we all go through stuff, so it's like. I don't really want my baby to go through a lot. 
I mean, you, you can't never stop it, but I don't want her to experience having to deal with people, having to rely on people. You know, it's just like, do what you want in life. You know, so it's it's harder, but it's going to work. It's all going to work out in due time. Yeah, that's um that's nice. Um, We get a lot of new mommies, and they tell us, like, you know, that it's different. But, like, it gives them, like, an extra push. And, it, okay, I really got a real reason. Mm-hmm. But we talked about on our previous episode that we recorded yesterday, we talked about don't ch- it's important not to cheat the, cheat the grind. Like, I remember seeing you go to school, working a job, working two jobs, you know, starting Give Me. Like, you literally was moving around. Yeah. <sighs> Once you experience all that, you got to really find your way. You know, some people were saying go to school, get a degree, do it that way. I tried it that way. A degree, I have my degree. But it's not for me. You know, it's, I created my own lane. I make money doing what I like to do. Um, I don't really follow nobody else's way or the way of life. I'm going to do me. So Yeah. Growing up, they do tell you, like, go to school, get a degree, get a career, retire. Like, that's literally, like, yeah. what they taught us in school, which I feel like that set, us up, that set a lot of people up for failure. for failure. Even me, because when I first got out of school, like, I knew to go to college that was the right thing to do. Mentally, I wasn't there. So, like, I had to take some time off. But, like, had I would have known what I know now back then, like, of course, I'd be way further. But that's neither here nor there. You need those lessons. You need to go through that to see your purpose, find out what it is that you like to do. But a l- lesson is a blessing. You know, True. You have to go through stuff to know where you're going to end up. Um, I wouldn't say college was a bad decision. It's just that that field of work is not who I am. You know, I, I did it because... That was the right thing to do at the time. I graduated at, what, 21? So, and I'm 29 now. So it was like I look back and I be like, it's you know, a lesson learned. I can always use that degree if I need to. But same thing. Yeah, it's all definitely always something to fall back on. I feel like the pandemic taught me you got to have a plan B, C, D. Like, plan A <laughs> ain't going to always work. Like, we all was sitting around. I don't care how much money you had. It's it had to show you, like, okay, what I'm going to do next? What's my next move? I had read um, Rick Ross, one of Rick Ross' books that he wrote during the pandemic. And he was talking about how he was booked with all these shows and, you know, this and that. But when the pandemic hit, you know, all his shows got canceled. And he felt like, okay, what's next? Like, that's the man that's rich. Like, yeah. so I know if he was thinking like that. Everybody was. Yep. Because everybody, every, I mean, the world shut down. You mm-hmm. couldn't do nothing. You couldn't make no moves at all. So, it was crazy. Right. It was definitely crazy. No matter what you got, you you can't sit on it. You got to keep it flowing. You know. So yeah, they. I want to say that women is really women. Women, they're really winning now. We changed the narrative. We not how our grandmas was back in the day, where they stayed home, took care of the family, cooked, fed the family, cleaned the house, and stuff like that. We definitely changed the narrative. I still be arguing with my papa to this day about that. Like, because his generation was so different. Like, they used to, like, women just being at home. Like, mm-hmm. it's women really out here getting it. Like, yeah. And you got to. You got to. So you ain't got to depend on nobody. That's the best way. Depend on you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, about Bami, y'all, I know you probably don't want to speak too much on it because you got something coming up. But, like, what made you get into that? Mm, I was in law school. So, once I got my first degree... I went straight to law school because I knew that the medical field wasn't for me once I started working in it. Remember, I was working in the medical field, you know, mm-hmm. like 15, 16. Um, so that's what I went to college for. I got my degree. Um, and once I got it and was working in it, I'm like, I actually quit Sinai Grace to open Give Me Chocolate in 2015. <laughs> so that's what's crazy. It was like, it's not for me. I literally walked out the hospital like, no, nah. you know, I my heart go out to helping people, but and saying who I am, I can't, I can't be in here like this. Do I, I can't do <laughs> it. It wasn't for you. <laughs> so it was like I went straight to law school, and it was like I was working with a lawyer. Um, and number one, we was always looking for a bondsman, like always on the hunt for a bondsman. It was always a problem. And two, I just had a personal situation where you know someone went to jail, and I, um, I was assisting in getting them out, and. I actually seen a bondsman, and I met with her, and I was talking to her, and I'm like, so you telling me I'm about to go to school for five years? <laughs> and when we just dropped in here, this is what I'm about to go 
to school for for another three. Nah, how you do this? <laughs> right. So I, you know, we we talked, we sat down, we got it together. I took the test, and the test was hard to say. It was like 50, 75 questions. You can only get two wrong. Took it a couple times, but <laughs> I passed. <laughs> <laughs> what are the questions about? Man, just the law, the the law, and how you know. Yeah. Logically, I answered them incorrectly. <laughs> that's why I had to take it again. But the law crazy. So it's like you gotta, you just gotta know the law. You gotta know it front and back. You're not a lawyer, but you you gotta know the law. I mean, you can't be both. You can't be a lawyer and you can't represent somebody and get somebody out. So it's like the test just revolves around the law. <laughs> just the law, the system. Yeah, that's right dope. Now. That's dope. Y'all dropped a, a really, really nice promo video. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. Thank you. It was real classy and real nice. Real you, but like still, I'm a bonds, you know. Yeah. It was real nice. That's dope. I like to see, you know, that type of stuff um, happen around the city. We got a lot of women. And I'm not trying to discredit the men, but we got a lot of women that's real bosses. Mm-hmm. Like, that's real mom, like bosses like being a mom is a job I hear and see that all the time and I like experience it with my siblings but it's a lot to be a mom so to be able to be a mom and like get up and do the things that you love and actually own and run successful businesses is really dope like Thank it you, really man. is you've been supporting for a while that's why I, I really did not mind you were Sade <laughs> you've been in my corner I swear since I opened getting chocolate so was on you right yes so this is my first episode without my girl um we we still had to do it so we're gonna get you back on another episode it's gonna be a little different the next time because it's gonna be you're gonna be a little further than that but besides that do you have like anything you would want to tell the somebody that's trying to start a business that um maybe in, like, a bond to where they don't know what to do? Like, maybe give them, like, some of your obstacles that came in your way. Um, It's a lot that can be said about starting a business. Number one, you just got to have a real passion for it. You can't just do it because there's money involved. You can't just do it because you see somebody else doing it and it's successful. Um, You can't just do it just because it's, it's going up at the moment. You have to do it because that's what you like to do. Like, I come across people all the time. It's like, dang, I can't even... I really can't even see you and give me chocolate or I can't really. And it's like, shit looks like me. Like, it represents me. Like, I I love doing it. You know, if we get a close-up of it, they see. Like, if you go to give me on Instagram, you see what it is. Like, it's nice. So, I'm saying that to say it's passion behind what I do. I love, if I could, I would be and give me chocolate every day. But I can't, you know. I have a manager now, and we're working together to um, kind of, duplicate the stuff so it'll look exactly the same and teach others to do it but when it comes to entrepreneurship it's not easy like you'll come across every problem that you can come across and you got to be prepared for that like you, girl <laughs> <laughs> you just got to be prepared you got to have a real passion behind what you want to do what you like to do you got to have a plan you got to know where you want this to be in five years, ten years? You just want it just now? Do you need some money? Do you like? You gotta know, cause I mean, working a job is not a problem. You could work a job and make some money, mm-hmm. do some overtime, get you some money. You, you could do it, but mm-hmm. owning a business ain't easy. That's a job. Yeah, it's a job. That's why with the with the bondsman, I didn't exactly open my own company. I teamed up with another company that's been in business for some years because starting from scratch. Nah. It's, it's way too much. It's like, it's stressful. But it works. You know, if it works for some, others take you under. It just depends on who you are. I feel like taking that route, that was kind of different for you because you started giving me from scratch. So, yeah. um, you know, the process of starting from scratch. And then that trying, I feel like trying different things to say you did it, not to say they will work, not to say they won't work. Not to say they will work, not to say they won't work. Um, you seeing it from a different point of view. Right. Yeah, and it's having a partner is good, depending on like the partner. I mean, my partnership goes pretty good, but then we just now starting out too. So like 
I don't know. I mean, different fields. Yeah. And that type of field, no, because everybody don't got the eye you got. You know, I I, I deal specifically with, like, what's appeasing on the eye. You know what I'm saying? What I see may not be what somebody else see. Y'all speaking to people or talking to people about different things. No, always. Y'all going to get along. You know, because you're going to say what you got to say. She's going to say what she got to say. But mm-hmm. if one person tell another person how I should be, it's going to break you apart. True. You know, especially if one got the vision and the other one just helping out so yeah because i had a partner but it ain't work out i just rather do it by myself yeah well you tried it out try it's all you can do mm-hmm. gotta try it a million ways until you get till you get it right until you get it right that's right yeah i definitely um i like it i love it um what's like your goals for the year like I said, June 6th, mark like lucky seven for us. So Gift Me been in store for seven years. So I've been taking my time with it. Um, I haven't rushed. You can't rush greatness. Mm-mm. So I just been literally taking my time step by step. I see so many people rushing business, you know, this business, that business, that business. No, I'm really trying to get to the bottom of what it takes to really be successful. And if it's another store in it for me, if it's a you know, um, something mobile, if it's just, it's it's just a lot that go with going to step two. And and step two going to be big for me. So that's kind of what I've been working on throughout the year. I've been working on the bond cast and, um, you know, that's coming out. Um, the billboard went up maybe about two years ago just to kind of introduce the idea of it. Um, I got a website dropping too, so it'll be a lot on there, you know, different services people can just book to ask questions, get things answered, um, and I can help people one on one with with different things that they may need. So, and being a better mommy, you know, <laughs> I just want my babies to just see me. Well, my baby look at me now, and she just, it just it she just cracks feel me. she cracks out she cracks up every time every time. And you actually seen us, yeah, You've seen us. <laughs> so you see, it's real. Like my baby, it gives me so much just momentum because my baby. Just came out the womb. She loved me. Like, she just smiled when she seen me. Mm-hmm. You seen her on FaceTime. Yeah. So when she seen me, she just busted. Looking up, like, what's up? <laughs> Where are you at? Where you coming to get me? So, <laughs> it's like, I just, I can never stop pushing to where I want to be, no matter how long it take. So, they say you make it past five years, you're going to make it. So, you made that you made that mark. So, you made it, for real. Mentally, for sure. And physically. Thank you. I feel like, um... Wherever you go and however far you choose to take Gift Me, I know it's going to do well. I know it's going to do well because um, your worth ethic, the way that you care about your brand, like your brand is your name. Um, The grind you put behind it, I don't know. I feel like seeing people actually put in the work because people will see people on Instagram and they be like, oh, she living a life. She got this or she got that. No, it wasn't handed, you know. It's all grind behind this. <laughs> it's crazy grind, y'all. It's it's crazy. Even beyond Instagram, you know, because I'm really not, like, I, I be on Instagram, but I ain't really no Instagram head. Like, I ain't about to sit on Instagram all day. It's, it's you know, you get paid off Instagram and all this and that, but really, I, it's traffic. Like, figure out where you get paid at and how you get paid and, we need that foot traffic in store. That's that's where the money is. So I don't I ain't really try not to do too much on Instagram. You know, mm-hmm. it's just dangerous out here. Like you just never know yeah. what's on somebody's mind. So it's like I ain't I'm too fond of the internet. Yeah, personal life for sure. Definitely don't yeah. put that on there. But I'm getting more into posting about the podcast because that's how people hear about it. That's how people see about it. You know. That one 15 seconds of what I said or what you said or what Daisy said or whoever, what a, another guest Makes said, it make a big difference. Like We get at least one or more followers a day on our Instagram page. Mm-hmm. We get at least one to two subscribers a week. Mm-hmm. And it may seem small, but it's hard to get subscribers on YouTube. Like It's way harder than getting followers on Instagram. Like. It is. I was just telling my friend that like you literally have to post. You know, you got to post your content. And forgive me, uh, we went behind on posts, you know, because sometimes you you could become lax and comfortable with what you have already. Um, and the clientele is built, you know, but it's like you can never have too much clientele. So the reels, the TikToks, all that stuff is becoming, but that's going to come about when I get like a secure staff. 
I've had issues of people coming in store, figuring out what we do, um, how we do it, what we make, what we use, and, and I have to let them go because they're on camera taking pictures of our product, you know, and it's just like, I worked hard to get here, you know, and I, I ain't about to be mad at you, but you got to go. I ain't, I come in here, people see me all the time. You see me when I come in store, I, hey. I get down to it and get in there myself. Yeah, if I have to. Yeah, and I, I do a lot because I ain't. I ain't what all that. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't about to go nowhere just because I see them making it. Or I ain't about to just do what everybody else doing or what I see. I'm going to really do the research and put the time in. And that's how you really win. Mm -hmm. And that's why you'll get those people instead of them just putting the work in. But that's why I feel like I be trying to elaborate. Like, you cannot cheat the ground. Like, and when people say, like, oh, start a business, start a business, that became like a wave to me. Like. It it's not you're not a bad person you're not any less of the next person because you don't own a business like jobs are meant for people to work them Car jobs are careers mm -hmm. like you can make a career out of a job like they're needed so for real? you can make some yeah, i know people that make more money than some business. you know like it's just whatever works for you like don't m let nobody make you feel like oh well, you need to own a business to be a better person or to get this type of money because I know some business that's been in business five plus years and they ain't made no money for real. Yeah. They probably broke even and still trying to invest to get somewhere, but like they still haven't made no money. So it get hard. Um, the podcast, we still grinding. It's hard. It's really hard to get guests. Like people, it's hard for them to get with the podcast where I don't know what else I could call it, but. When you think of podcasts, people feel like, you know, like, oh, am I going to end up, um, you know, on a clip, you know, you asking me personal questions. Like here on Real Talk, we don't get in people's business. We don't ask people about their dating life. We kind of really don't care about that because we that ain't that's not why we brought you on here. Like we don't have like the typical pot. Like, you know, everybody got their own reason. We kind of want to talk about what you got going on. We kind of want to have a conversation, catch a vibe like Sometimes we have plan to talk about a specific thing, but somebody will come in here with like a great vibe and we stuck on that one topic, but it's just that good that we talking about it. And you know, that, that was that, but we have gotten a lot of no's, but it's a lot of people that I re reach out to because I don't really take things personal. Like some things do be personal, but for the most part, they're not. So maybe that week they were busy, like, and they just couldn't do it. Or, you know, this week they might be free, you know? It just, a lot of people, when they come, they finally say, oh, I really enjoyed it. It wasn't what I thought. Like, it was, the vibe was different. It wasn't what I was, you know, what I was thinking. So, I got to elaborate that. We got to elaborate that every episode, me and Daisy for sure, because people will be like, podcast? No, I don't do podcasts. Like, I don't do interviews. Like, it really don't, it's, we don't do interviews, but like, if you own a business, we kind of do want to know, like, you know, what made, what's going on with the business. So, like, for that part, we'll kind of get in, yo, Business, business, but <laughs> not your personal life. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not really a person for podcasts, but again, it's y'all, you know, and y'all been supporting me. It's only right to support too. Um, I'm I'm not really big on like personal life. I'm really I'm real private, but when it comes to business, I don't mind speaking. Um, constructively for the podcast, I think because it's like real talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So people like. What you mean? You know, it was, it was real talk. Like, was <laughs> so that's that could be, you know, constructively, that could be why some people be like, what are we about to talk about? Mm -hmm. Should I ask you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you just maybe if you formulate an email and start emailing people. They don't respond to emails. We get text. what? DM, because Instagram is Yeah, D I give more – any. I've DM'd a lot of people, people that got, like, managers in their bio. I DM – I mean, I email them from, like, my business email. I know never get a response. Like, you just got to keep working your way up. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. you know, real recognize real. So you, <laughs> all, you reach out to the people who you support it and that will support you back and, and don't want nothing behind it, and that's what it is, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, even though we're, you guys are just starting out, you can still do like small little gift cards if they come on. Mm, no, you just gotta, you gotta find your way with people. People just weird. 
Yeah, definitely. So, like, when we started the podcast, obviously we did it for fun. Like, we didn't think, like, oh, this many people would be, like, interested in the podcast. But, like, no, we got so much input. Like, people want to hear. They want to see. They want to, why y'all not putting out an episode? Like, so it became something like, okay, like, and it's fun. It's fun to do. Like, and we both like it in our, you know, our own special way. So, like, obviously that's why we're still doing it. But, I be expressing to people like this is not easy. Like it's not easy when you when you still trying to figure it out. It's not easy. I have those days where it be like, hmm, you know, what can I do different? What can I do for us to stand out? Or what can we do to do this? Like I'm, my mind always racing. Like literally. For one thing, I see for y'all is that I do see it going far. Um, one thing I will say, we touched on posting. Y'all gotta post. I got to post, even if it's just you posting yourself, getting dressed and being out and, you know, being you, the life you live, sure, they got to do the same thing. Because it's not like me, y'all both in the social life, y'all, you know, so y'all just got to post what y'all doing instead of just saying, hey, listen to my podcast or, you know, support because it's me. Just got to be out. You got to post more. You got to Instagram. Yeah, I'm working, I'm working on that getting outside part, like. I like to get out and go have get dinner and have drinks. Like post that's it. that's all. True. Just post what you doing. Post you cute, you know. <laughs> post you looking. Post your girl. I don't be on my phone. Like I'm really you like trying to work. podcast. Now. True. So you got to. You, that's true. You got to. You know. The more people see what's going on, the more they tuning in. Cause I'm like that. I ain't. I'm not. I'm trying to get around to post it more. But I mean, on the legal side, I can't really post a lot of bond stuff. I don't really post a lot of gift me because a lot of people would think I'm in the store right now. Like, let me come get that. Let me okay, go to the store. They'd DM me for an order. Be like, let me go to the store. But it's like you are your brand, right? Like mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta be that. You gotta be your brand. You gotta Definitely learning. I'm definitely a work in progress. So we've had like really good episodes that like you know, everybody that come on, they all teach me something. Like, I, I take away something from that episode, whether it was big, whether it was small. Like, mm-hmm. so I am getting out of my shell more. So I uh, want to give myself my flowers on that. And you too. You kind of post more this year. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> saying, like, why you don't post? I'd be like, I don't. I ain't, you know, I don't know. I'm just getting used to it. I ain't really used to just talking in the camera like. Who I'm talking to. Yeah, the <laughs> I'm camera. Just talking, you know, out publicly. Like, I'm getting used to it. I'm trying. Um, how do you feel about like networking? Like, how important it is? How important to you is it to network? It's very important. Um, for me, I just be so busy. I want to network more. Um, on the market side of things, you know, marketing, even my store. It's just it's so hard time wise. Um, but. All I really like to do now is take stuff places. All you got to do is taste it, see it, taste it. They coming. Gift me. You already know. You taste it. You've been rocking with Gift Me for as oh. long as we've been over. <laughs> so it's addictive, you know, and it was addictive to me when I started it. That's why I was like, okay, if it's addictive to me, it's, it's going to be addictive to at least 100, 200 more people. Like, you know, um, so everywhere I go, I'm taking something. I don't care what it costs me. You know, just put it on the house. It's on the house, you know. So you just have to, you got to work. You just got to work until people know about your brand. People see you and they know that's your brand. And you got to be a representation of that. Like, you can't just be, you remember that You remember that, um, that quote where it was like, you can't be this person on the internet and then be this person in store. Like, I just try to keep it professional. I try to be me. I try to live in my purpose. Well, I don't try to be me. I am me. I just live in my purpose. You know, I'm naturally a giver. So everywhere I go, I'm taking somebody something. Whether it's give me something they like. That's just who I am. So yeah. marketing. Got to be big on marketing, especially for a podcast. I'm learning. Trust me, I'm learning. I'm still taking notes. I do a lot of research. So up in the middle of the night, like, especially when I'm at work, I'm on my phone watching other podcasts. I'm at, watching podcasts that already got contracts, like $6 million co- contracts with like Spotify and stuff like that you know just checking their content out you know seeing what they talking about seeing who they got on like even though everybody's going to talk about what they want to like it's just satisfying for me to see 
And I feel like that's a part of your research. But <clears throat> believe it or not, people reach out to me and like, you know, how do you start a podcast? What do you do? What do you like? What do you do? And I'm just like, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is what worked for me. You know, we went and we both went in blindsided. Like we actually booked our first session and like that was kind of going to be it. We was just going to see how it went. No, we literally was back in the studio two days later because we had that much fun. Yeah. And then that episode got like over a thousand views like quick. I'm like, wow, this really happening. Like, yeah. and it's gonna happen like that if you just, you just gotta keep doing what you love, getting better at it, and keeping up with the times. Like, you know how all the reels and TikTok starting to just now. First, it was like the little Instagram flies and the little boomerangs. Now it's all the reels and people want to see you doing it. Mm-hmm. Even if every time you in session, you you post it. You know, like in session. You, you just never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm actually gonna make a reel we yeah. uh before we leave. So yeah. yeah. Anything else you wanna tell the people? Anything else you wanna know? <laughs> <laughs> well no, I think we touched on everything. I feel like um you talked about how you started Give me. Um we got Lucky Seven coming up. Um I'm gonna put in the description box where they can find you. I'm gonna put your website, put your um Give Me Chocolate Instagram. You know, do you have a buy me out page? No chat. Okay. So, I probably ain't gonna have no page. Probably just gonna be my your personal page. Okay, so I put all your information where they can find you at. Um, I don't really think I want to know any more. I mean, we know what we know. Yeah. 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 You know, you got my number. So you got no <laughs> stuff. Text me. Yeah. So well, that, thank you for having me and give me a buy me out. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and just tell them your Instagram for the people that's listening. Um, give me Instagram is give me chocolate ENT and then mine is Miss Janae. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put that in the description box. Y'all know where to find us at RT the RT adore the letter N Daisy. Um, that's YouTube, that's Instagram, that's Twitter. We also got TikTok, that's TikTok. You got a TikTok? Give me do. Okay, yeah. okay. I heard TikTok be going up. We got one, but I'm learning it. So yeah, yeah. that's like one of my goals, my short term goals to learn like. The proper hashtags, like what to say, what time to post, and stuff like that. So, like, I've been working on it. Yeah. But today was the first day I recorded without my partner. It was pretty good. Y'all let me know how I did. Y'all give me some feedback. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in, and until next time.